Hi, I'm Tom Timmerman, a professor of business management at Tennessee Tech in Cookville, Tennessee. I'm here with Hazel Cooper, one of our recent graduates. Um, Hazel, who are you and why are you here? My name is Hazel Cooper and I graduated from Tennessee Tech University with a bachelor's in business administration and I like HR. Good. Now you just finished up a big service learning project and it was a pretty big project to take on during your last semester. Um, so how did you get involved in the project and how did you, how did you uh, identify the need? Well, I was uh, given the opportunity to be an intern for the Putnam County Board of Education mm -hmm. and uh, Mr. Knight gave me some projects and I later found out that they don't have any updated job descriptions. Uh -huh. It was hard to do this, the stuff, the tasks that they were giving me because the ones that they have are old uh -huh. dated. Uh -huh. <laughs> so. And that's a pretty big job because uh, consulting companies charge thousands of dollars to do this kind of thing. They usually yes. bring in an army of people to, to help do it. Um, and so, um, why are the job descriptions so important? For me, I think job description is really important because it's a foundation mm -hmm. for any job anywhere. Um, it gives people the expectations. It clarifies their job, their essential uh, functions in the, in the company. And also for, it's for HR tool. Mm -hmm. um, it gives them selection. It's for good, good for selection and training and most of all, performance evaluation so we can get raised. Yay! Exactly. So it's got lots and lots of important functions. Yes. Right? Um, so who else was involved and in, in what exactly did you do? Well, um, the Society of Human Resource Management in Tennessee our chapter, mm -hmm. TTU chapter, uh, were involved in that and we did a lot of interviewing with a lot of the managers and supervisors for each department in the Putnam County Board of Education. Mm -hmm. and so, and so what, what do you think was the biggest um, challenge of the project? People working together. Uh -huh. um, of course, as a human resource, we have to learn to deal with people and working with them, especially difficult ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we have to get everybody's schedule and work with managers who are really, really busy. Mm -hmm. But then also for students who are quite shy uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> or personality types, we had to work on those. Uh -huh. That was the challenging part. Uh -huh. And so since these managers are pretty busy and, and it's hard, sometimes it's hard to convince them of, of the value of, of doing this and updating the job description, so how did you get them to go along and, and participate? Well, we, we told them that for, for us to do it, it's free. Mm -hmm. They get a free work uh -huh. and their job descriptions is, up, is updated. Mm -hmm. um, job descriptions can be used for like workers comp and they have some workers comp. We're not going to name how many, uh -huh. but uh, they need those job description since it is the foundation. And so if somebody gets hurt, they don't have anything to look back on and say, oh, well, what's the job? What does this entail? Mm -hmm. it does, they don't have that before, mm -hmm. but now they do. Good. And so what do you think was the most rewarding part of the whole process? The notebook that we turned in. <laughs> um, the folder that we turned in with every department's job description has been updated. Mm -hmm. And when we turned it in to Dr. Earhart and Mr. Knight, that was the high, the high point uh -huh. of the whole thing. So. And so it sounds like a win-win really yes. for the organization and for the student. Yes. Um, the man the Putnam County Board of Education got something for free, mm -hmm. but also the students. We learned a lot from that experience. Uh, we learned a lot of things in class, mm -hmm. but putting it into action is totally different. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, in the real world, it's a little bit different. It's got a lot of challenges, and we learned how to cope with that. So Exactly. And so do you think it would be, uh, would you recommend it for other students and any organizations that might be interested in this kind of thing? Oh, definitely. They just need to get involved in there. and see what needs to be done or what are the needs out there and jump on it and mm -hmm. it's really good. <laughs> we had fun. I, I, I did. I had a great time. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you.